We are hearing tonight from a witness who says she was disgusted by the way two Air Canada passengers were treated on a recent flight from Las Vegas to Montreal. They were booted from a packed plane for refusing to sit in seats with remnants of vomit. Here's CTV's John Vanavelli Rao. The incident happened as passengers boarded an Air Canada Rouge flight from Las Vegas to Montreal. A pair of women arrived at their seats when a witness says one of them immediately noticed they were wet and reeked of vomit. She said to us, yeah, there's vomit in my seat. And we're like, that's what the smell is. Susan Benson was seated behind the women who called over a flight attendant and were told someone had been sick on a previous flight. But the seats were left soiled overnight and not cleaned until the next day. In a widely shared post on Facebook, Benson wrote the women were told to mask the smell. The cabin crew placed coffee grinds in the seat pouch and sprayed perfume. The passengers argued they couldn't sit in such wet seats for the four-hour flight, but were told there were no other options. She's like, well, the flight's very full. I'm very sorry. Then after discussing the situation with a supervisor, the pilot came back. Just bent down eye level and said, you guys, you know, can leave the plane right now on your own or... Um, I will call security and they will escort you off the plane. And if that happens, you will be on a no fly list. And she said, why? He said, you were rude to our flight attendant and you're not taking this flight. Security then escorted the women off of the plane. Air Canada is now reviewing the matter, saying its operating procedures were not followed correctly. Adding this includes apologizing to these customers as they clearly did not receive the standard of care to which they were entitled. The airline says it's been in touch with the customers who've not been identified. At least one expert says it's not an isolated incident, saying power trips by flight crews are a growing problem. We respect the pilots and the crew members. There's no question about it. But that is not a license to, to bully passengers. As for Benson, she thinks an apology from the airline is hardly enough. John Benavelli Rao, CTV News, Toronto.